Yo, what's going on guys? Arax here. Welcome back to a video for Monster Hunter Stories 2. And in this one, I want to give you a quick guide on how to farm and where to farm weapon spheres and armor spheres. When you get to the end of the game and you unlock the high rank quests, then when you start farming monsters there and you want to craft their armor, their weapons, they will all require, alongside monster parts, weapon spheres or armor spheres, depending on whether you are crafting, surprise, surprise, weapons or armor. And for the most part, you will come across these pretty organically, but there may come a point, especially if you've been crafting a lot, that you run out. So let's go over where to get these efficiently. If you do enjoy this, a like would be super appreciated. Comment down below if you have any questions. But to begin with, first things first, they come from a variety of different sources, but most notably, you will either go and mine for them, and this is the one that you can easily farm, and you can also get them from expeditions. So let's start with expeditions, given that this is the thing you can set up and leave running whilst you go off and farm. So if you head over to the stable and you speak to the stable poor, you of course want to scroll down to Monster Expeditions and you then want to go and set up your expeditions so that you send them out to, you know, whatever field they can handle. Of course, once you get to the end of the game, you will also unlock high rank locations. I've typically been using these ones because they seem to yield the best results. You don't necessarily have to find the latest or the furthest location. You can pick an earlier one if your team is lower level, but pick your location, ideally high rank. Under instructions, you then want to select Treasure Hunter. This is the one that focuses on rarer items, and given that they fall within that category, that seems to again yield the best results. Pick your team, send them out, and repeat this process. So set up expeditions to search for treasure, ideally in high rank locations. Do this, and of course, leave it running, so you can then go out and begin farming. Now before you farm, of course, other very important thing, head over to your prayer pots. Don't forget, you should be feeding this charms on a regular basis so you can level this up. It goes up to level 20. Doing so will increase the bonuses or the percentage bonuses, but you ideally then want to be using a gathering charm. Now, honestly, I don't believe the charms and the regular prayers stack, but given that I'm only going out to gather, I pray for the gathering prayer and also use a gathering charm. It's kind of like in Pokemon. You know how they say pressing and spamming the A button doesn't increase your capture chance when you throw a Pokeball? I'm pretty sure it does. Anyway, the main thing is you want a gathering charm because this will increase your chances of getting rarer items whilst gathering. Now, when you've done this, you then want to head out to a location. Now, you can do this anywhere, anywhere there are mining nodes. I personally really like the Turgo Volcano base because there are seven nodes that are all in a very close proximity. You can loop them and you can then just run this back to back. If you guys have other locations you use that you think are better, by all means, let me know in the comments down below. But I've been using this and it is pretty lucrative. So if you spawn at this location, straight away you run towards where the Ivory Lagriacris is and you then go there. There is one mining node there and then behind him there will always be a second one. Keep in mind these will always spawn in the exact same location so you don't have to worry about finding them later on. You then want to turn around and go back in this direction towards where the Green Blessioth is. There will be another mining node and if you then hug the wall and go around there will be the next one. Then following there, what you then want to do is you basically want to work your way up the hill. And when you get to the top, where Uragan will normally be, there will actually be three here. One as soon as you go through the archway, another one directly in front of you, and the other one directly behind you. Once you've collected all of these, you will hopefully, as you can of course see through the process, have obtained some spheres, be that armor sphere or weapon sphere in the process. Then you simply open your map, select the Turga Volcano base again. You will respawn. All of those items, all those nodes will have respawned as well and you run that loop again. Very simple, very quick, run this back to back as many times as you want. I mean, if you want to be super efficient, run it until your expeditions finish. Admittedly, the treasure hunting ones do take longer, mine are sitting at around 40 minutes or 60 minutes, depending on location. So whether you want to do this for an hour is entirely up to you. However, run this as long as you want, and you should get a good amount of those. Then once you're done, you return, open your expeditions, and hopefully, ideally, provided your team have completed the run, you should also get some as a reward. You won't get a massive amount, but amidst your rewards, you should at least get one or two every single time, so that is definitely pretty useful. Now, outside of that, it is also worth noting that if you go into high rank dens, when you mine within the high rank dens, there are also chances for those to drop. So naturally, when you're exploring a high rank den, be looking for mining nodes. There's normally always one where the nest is, sometimes even two, but in the bigger dens, there will also be mining nodes around the rest of it. So do some exploring, mine from there, and you can also get some in the process. If you happen to go and do carp expeditions, you can also find them there as well. But generally speaking, if you want a quick and reliable way to farm, set up your expeditions to go treasure hunting, run to the Togo base, run around there with the gathering charm active, mine as many as you can, jump into some rare dens, mine those as well, and that should give you plenty of armor spheres and weapon spheres, and then you can craft whatever you like. 
So, hope you guys found it helpful. Any more questions, let me know in the comments down below. And of course, keep it locked for plenty more stories to content. If you want to catch more from us at Arix Gaming, don't forget you can catch the guys 269 and Paradise Central streaming over on Twitch weekdays, playing a variety of games. If you guys want to jump in, tune in, watch, and even join in, then make sure you check them out. The links to those are in the description box down below. And of course, you can join the Discord to get involved in all of the discussions.